Hi. Well, today I'm going to turn a sphere out of a piece of this walnut that I got for my birthday last year. The first step is to measure and then cut my blank. Marking the centers is easy with a set of calipers. Throughout this project I will be turning between centers, so I actually removed my scroll chuck and put in a four prong drive center, and then later I'll switch to some homemade cup chucks to finish out the sphere. Here I'm marking the center line and then actually measuring the diameter of that center line. And I can use that measurement to mark the ends of what will be my sphere. Also, it's important that I don't turn away that center marking because I want that wood to stay at that diameter and not get any smaller. I can establish the ends of my sphere by using this thin parting tool. I'm using a small pull saw to separate the sphere from the two little nubs of wood that I left on either end. I can now tap out the drive center and put the scroll chuck back in with my homemade cup chucks. Now these will hold the sphere between centers but it won't mar the surface like the drive center would. Now, you can get pretty close to a sphere just by turning between centers, but by actually putting the sphere between the cup chucks, you can rotate the sphere and change its orientation, and as you keep turning it rounder and rounder, it'll actually become a sphere. So the more orientations that you put that sphere in, the more spherical your ball will get.
This is only a small portion of the sanding. I went from 100 grit all the way up to 400 grit on this project. Now my plan for finishing this sphere is to use this tongue oil finish and I'll probably apply about three coats over a course of three or four days. You'll see here that the first coat you want to apply with a paper towel and just soak the surface whereas with successive coats you actually want to use some 600 or 800 sandpaper to fill the pores of the wood and create a really nice finish. Thanks for watching.